This film is an instructional video on the use of the ODU 1112 Explorer. At the completion of this lesson, the student will justify use of the ODU 1112 Explorer, identify the correct working end of the instrument, and use the ODU 1112 Explorer efficiently to detect calculus and explore tooth anatomy and periodontium. The ODU 1112 Explorer is a highly effective instrument for supergingival and subgingival assessment of periodontal tissues, tooth anatomy, and the texture of tooth surfaces. The ODU 1112 Explorer's shank is designed to mimic an 1112 Gracie curette and the universal characteristics of a Columbia 1314 curette. The tip of the Explorer is positioned at a 90 degree angle to the lower shank. It is double ended with mirrored small working ends and a rounded back. Although other instruments have similar attributes, the ODU 1112 Explorer is the one instrument that combines the features of other explorers into one user-friendly instrument. Thus, it is beneficial that dental hygiene students learn how to effectively use the ODU 1112 Explorer to locate subgingival deposits and re-evaluate tooth surfaces during instrumentation. Grasp the instrument lightly using a modified pen grasp. Fingers should be slightly curved and relaxed. The grip on the instrument should be light. To determine the correct working end for posterior teeth, place the instrument on a premolar. The lower shank should be parallel to the distal surface of the premolar. The last bend in the shank, also called the V, should be pointed towards the distal or the D. The functional shank is positioned up and over the premolar tooth. Once the appropriate end has been determined, establish a stable fulcrum on a tooth near the area being instrumented. Insert one to two millimeters of the side of the tip of the explorer at the distal line angle of the most posterior tooth using an exploratory stroke advance the instrument distally. Oblique and vertical strokes should be used to explore between the gingival margin and junctional epithelium into the distal interproximal area. Remove the explorer from the distal proximal surface and readapt the tip at the distal line angle with the tip pointed towards the mesial. Using short, overlapping, oblique, and vertical strokes, explore between the gingival margin and junctional epithelium mesially. The right-handed clinician should use the instrument using the same principles as the left-handed clinician, but from the other side of the chair. To determine the correct end for anterior teeth, hold the instrument against an easily viewed tooth. The terminal shank should lie parallel to the long axis of the tooth. The tip of the ODU 1112 Explorer should wrap around the tooth and the V should not be pointing outward. Do not flip the instrument until the entire sextant is explored. Anterior teeth, surfaces towards, facial and lingual, should be explored beginning with the tooth furthest away from the practitioner in the sextant. Insert one to two millimeters of the side of the tip of the explorer at the middle of the tooth. Oblique and vertical strokes should be used to explore between the gingival margin and the junctional epithelium into the interproximal area. Instrument across the sextant in the direction of the tip. Surfaces away, facial and lingual, should be explored in a similar fashion, beginning with the tooth closest to the practitioner in the sextant, working in the direction of the tip.